Hey there, it's Kevin Kennedy and welcome to episode number one of Fusion Fridays. By the end of this video, you'll know how to create custom keyboard shortcuts in Fusion 360. To get started, you'll first want to make sure that you have the latest version of Fusion 360. If there is a new update available, you should see a number next to the time clock here. Then, if you click on the dropdown, it will prompt you to update to the latest version, restarting Fusion in the process. To check your version number, you can go to Help, click About, and a modal will pop up stating the version number and the type of account you have. So to create custom shortcuts, you'll need at least version 2.04343. Now to create custom keyboard shortcuts, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is hover over the right side of a command until you see the More Options icon, which is the three vertical dots. Then, if we click the More Options icon, you'll notice that Change Keyboard Shortcuts is now available. After selecting Change Keyboard Shortcuts, you'll be prompted with a dialog box. To create a new one, all you have to do is type in a letter. Now, a few other things to note here. You can use any of the alphanumeric keys on your keyboard meaning that you can use letters or numbers. If you type one letter out and then hit another letter or a number, it will automatically be replaced. Now another important thing to note is that you can use keyboard modifiers such as Shift, Control, and Command in conjunction with the alphanumeric keys. Now if you enter a key that is already used by another command, the custom keyboard shortcut will let you know which command is already using that key. At this point, you can then decide whether you want to override it or you can use a different key. If you do choose to override it, the affected command will no longer have a key set. Now as far as deleting and resetting keyboard shortcuts, to get rid of a keyboard shortcut, simply delete it with a delete or backspace key and leave the field empty as you click OK. To reset a keyboard shortcut, simply select Reset to Default in the dialog box. Now one of the best things about custom keyboard shortcuts and the fact that Fusion 360 is cloud-based is that they save to your account. Now this means they go with you no matter what computer you log into. Now I'm also going to throw some frequently asked questions about creating new keyboard shortcuts in the video comments below, so be sure to check them out. And I'm also going to link to the standard or default Fusion 360 keyboard shortcuts in the video description. Thanks for watching. Be sure to comment below with all of your Fusion 360 questions. Hit the thumbs up icon if you learned something in this video and click subscribe followed by the little bell icon to be notified of more Fusion 360 tutorials.